Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you how I have my radio flow filter, which you can see over there behind me, how it is set up basically. So that's what I'll be showing you in this video. So here's one of my radio flow filters that you can see over there. It is in a conical tank. It's kind of hard to see with the plastic, but at the bottom, it is cone shaped to the bottom. This allows for solids to settle better. But basically how a radio flow filter works is you have it entering from one point. In my case, I have it entering at the top then what happens is the water has to go down. So I have this baffle here. So the water goes down towards the bottom and then solids will settle at the bottom and then the water has to come back up through here and out through this tube. So the main aspect in a radio flow filter is this baffle or this whatever you want to call it around the center pipe. So you could have it set up in a different way where the water is entering through the center and going down and then exiting out the side. Either way, works it's just a matter of having the water being able to go down and then back up and then down again which is how basically a radio flow filter works so my water enters through there has to go down and then back up and then goes down again through this pipe and into my other filters that's generally how it works however in my case it isn't working too well right now because of the factor that flow rate is very important when it comes to these filters and my flow entering here is too fast, which doesn't allow solids to settle. I can adjust the speed of water coming into these tanks, which then goes into here, which will allow me to slow down the water. However, right now I don't wanna do that since I want a good amount of flow to the fish. So we'll see what I do later on, but that is important. So when you do set one up, you wanna be able to adjust the flow coming into these filters, just because of the factor, the slower the water moves in one of these filters, the better or the more solids will settle at the bottom because that gives them time since in mine there's too much movement in there which causes solids to set, come up which isn't allowing it to settle. But that will be addressed later. But basically to give it out in a different perspective on a drawing, how mine is set up, you can see I have a conical tank right here. My water is entering from either like the side or the top. Same difference going in here and then the water has to basically so the water enters through here and then it has to go down and then allows all these solids basically to settle at the bottom and then the clean water goes back up and then back through here and out there. So that's pretty much the concept of it works but as I mentioned flow rate is very important because if there's too much turbulence in here the solids don't settle at the bottom and will just go back up through this pipe and back into the system. Another drawing or example is same thing. You have your tank, you have your pipe in the center, you have your baffle, and then you have another pipe out. So you can have the water also coming in through here. Doesn't matter, it goes up here, then the water has to settle down and then it has to go back up again and out through there. So either way works, you can have it enter into the conical tank or the whatever tank you have in any direction. It's just a matter of having something like this, which is basically forcing the water and the solids to go in one direction, which is down. Same here, it has to go down before it goes back up. It has to go down before it goes back up. That is the radio flow filter I was just showing you how that one is set up. This one is set up the exact same, but the water is going through here slower. So you can see the solids at the bottom. Oh, that's actually kind of dark, there you go. So you can see the solids there at the bottom. That's basically how it works. Again, I have the water entering through here. The water has to go down before it comes up and through this pipe, which is the exit in this filter. And you can see kind of the water coming through there is clean. Again, as I did mention previously, flow rate is very important. You wanna address that when setting these up. That way you can adjust the flow coming into these filters. But there's one radio flow filter and there's other, oh, both set up in the exact same way. Right now I have this PVC pipe attached with zip ties, but I will change that later on. I will also make a build video on how to make one yourself, which will go through basically the steps, which is very simple. There's like just a few parts. The main thing is just an in an out and then one of these kind of barriers to block the water from going in there. But that's the general concept. So you have your in, so that's the water being gravity fed from my tanks into this filter. It goes down and then there is that baffle on the inside and the water has to pass back up and then go down again and out through here, which is heading to my other filters, which I'll be showing later on. 
So as long as you have the flow rate going into one of these filters, they do perform very well. You can have bigger tanks, which means you can have faster wa water going in there, or you can have smaller ones, just with slower water. So there are different ways to set it up, but that's the general concept of the radio flow filter. You'll have water entering from one area and then have a barrier which forces it to settle down and then go back up or so forth. But that's pretty much that for this video. If you do have any questions, remember to leave those below and I'll get to those when I can. Otherwise, thank you for watching.